With your companions gathered, you make your way once more into the tangle. With the crusader and the flagellant here, you're certain that the reverberating redoubt, that echoing shield, will be quite a boon if you can locate it. And you need to go in power anyway. The seething sigh brooks no weakness, and you will need to face it before this is done. Best to press on. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Loki Orm. We're back at it with health and wealth as recommended by Blank Desktop, uh, who also conveniently joins us on the run uh, as our uh, flagellant. Um, and before we dive in, uh, comment... Oh, jeez. All right. Well, that makes that easy. Uh, comment section below, has anyone found a way in the Steam version of the game to save, edit, and change hero names? Uh, because right now, I can't really change names without losing the character. And that's not really something I want to do for some of these characters who are quite I'm quite invested in. Uh, so if anyone knows how to do that, please uh, please let me know uh, down below. Well, we didn't come here... We didn't come here to not go after the Dreaming General, and going after him first is a little bit suspect. It's a little bit... It's a little bit sus. But I think it's going to be okay. Hmm. Kind of wonder if I need to have Holy Lance in. I mean, he's just so unlikely to beat Initiative. Don't think we need Endure right now, so maybe we go like that. Still going to be Pirouetting. And Flashing Daggers actually hits the back two as well, which is really good for the Dreaming General. Yeah, we're... This formation is really stacked up to go after the Dreaming General. The loathing so yeah, comment section below on that, and I uh, hope you're all doing well out there as we uh, get into this run. And... Uh, don't worry, uh, Uncapped Frame, your run is next. I'll be taking out the Burning Stars, uh, along with a new name for our Crusader. Very excited for that, so looking forward to uh, looking forward to that run. But first, we got to uh, we got to win this run, right? Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like we're unfortunately about to get shot in the face here. Okay, all the way to the front. So we could bulwark of faith, but unfortunately, I'm pretty sure the arbalist can just doesn't shoot the front two lines. So I actually want to do zealous accusation, get those burns ticking, fish for some combo points, because we do want to stress heal the rest of uh, the uh, the crusader if we need if we can. There we go. That's what we're that's what we're paying the big bucks for. We do have to monitor the uh, flagellant a fair bit. We don't want to... Nice. Okay, there we go. That's one of them down. We don't want him to get too low without a plan to, like, pick him back up. Because he is vulnerable to just getting wombo comboed, even though his death blow resistance is 90 and will stay at 90 for quite a while because he's just very durable. I actually saw a... Um, somebody... Um, Somebody on Reddit, I believe, made an interesting point with that. The Flagellant kind of needs... I'm just going to try to more more here and see if we can get away with that. Uh, the Flagellant might, you know, maybe should have a little bit of more endurance as far as... Uh, I don't want to just end it. As far as uh, death blows go than the other characters, given that that's kind of his theme. So rather than just having really high death blow resistance, they made the point of maybe the, maybe the Flagellant should have death armors. Like, maybe the Flagellant should, on top of having his death blow resistance, have death armor. So he, he's guaranteed to survive one kind of thing. Um, okay, of course, there was also part of this discussion was like, hey, all of the... You know, we should Our characters should just have death blow armor instead of um, percentages on uh, death blow chance. Which I don't... I don't know how I feel about that. On the one hand... 
it would be nice from the sense that it would make the game more even more deterministic on on something an unavoidable end. you know we would always we would always know if our character's about to die or not you know we we know how many death armors they have you know and i get that it would it would definitely address the 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 complaint of you know my my person had a 90 percent death blow resistance check and failed you know and that just that's you know that feels bad for everybody involved but you know kind of the the flip side of that is that's kind of the game all right you can reach there so let's go ahead and do that oh missed it um that's kind of that's in a sense that's kind of the game like that's you know it's supposed to be like that it's not supposed to be fair and i don't know that death blow um oh this is actually convenient three point stress heal there uh the, the problem the the thing about the death blow armors is that it's going to feel real bad if you know your character could in theory tank you know three or four jeez what the hell your your character could in theory tank three four five um uh death blow checks but with death armor they're never going to tank more than three. Oh god really okay thank god the flagellant's up what the hell okay thank god doubly thank god we don't we don't get punished it's like here like if if i had death below armor i wouldn't have to you know i wouldn't have to worry yeah we know that the uh al hazard is going to be fine i actually think we heal ourselves here fix ourselves up first because you're dead you're dead and you're you're dying and you're i mean patch ourselves up a little bit here that 14 point crit was a uh, bad news bears there we go and methodical appliance of harm all right so he's just forever he's forever getting tanked here Always stress heal the other characters first because uh, the uh, flagellant. He, I mean, he cares about stress, but it's not like the biggest deal. Jeez, this uh, this constant spamming of defense formation, like it's it's actually kind of hard to break through right now. I think I need to I need to start hauling this guy up to the front here. So we do max out the heal there for 18. Then immediately lose seven of it. Alright, there we go. We'll we'll end the fight this turn. Right, there's the armor break, so he's dead. I actually think sepsis to get a little extra heal there. Nine point heal on ourselves. Eleven point heal there. That works. Got a little hairy there for a moment, but I think we did okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Armory key and reverberating readout. Just, oh, man. Yeah, general the general's dream. Uh, that that doesn't seem very impressive. Foreclosure notice has potential if we were able to get her into stealth more consistently, but we don't have a way to do that. Though maybe maybe we can make that work. Ooh, four milk soaked linen, kind of nice. Yeah, this is definitely. I mean, we're definitely in the <coughs> in the mode to. <coughs> 
undying. To use this. Into a dream. Creeping growth, first no, round. There's a lot of stress we're picking up here. Get that free stress heal in. We actually get to do the Burning Stars because we have two other characters that can hit two ranks at once. Oof. Man, this, st this stress is just flowing this round. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Kind of feels like we need to inspire and cry here. Yeah, let's, let's inspire and cry and try to slow the stress gain down a little bit. And I'm actually going to get a little greedy here. Get some more damage ticking because the flagellant, yeah, the flagellant is unlikely. He, he does get grabbed here, unfortunately. But he's unlikely to be going. Oh, God. Really? The yips just, the yips just screwed me over for no reason. Very, very rude. And now the soil stirs. Jeez. This fight is not going as well as I think it should be. No, we may as well get our swing in for some decent damage. Yeah, so that the yips there really messed us up. All right, but here we go. Now we can start correcting the issue here. I think we just have to take this soil stirs. I don't know that we have a great way to... That we need to free the flagellant here. release all the stuff god the yips the yips is just messing us up right now Two in a row with the yips. All marks of the unprepared. We're not dealing a ton of damage throughout here. What's funny is we have we have like three ways to hit the uh, to hit the root, yet we're like falling behind, which is very frustrating. The yips just not not helping us is the problem right now. Yeah, I do think this has to be. Wow. Deals three. That's not going to be good enough.
Yeah, we're just we're just really far behind in this fight. Darkness encroaches. Inexorable. Now we got very Yips again. 15% chance is triggered like three times this fight. I mean, I have to, I have to be releasing these freaking uh, roots off people. What is it then that gazes back so intently from the abyss? And just double, instant double grab. And what should we, I mean, I have to, I have to do this. I have to try to release Audrey. And of course it releases Reynold. Man. <sighs> Jeez. And we're going to have a meltdown here. Yeah, of course. We are just getting absolutely torn apart by this and boss. The greatest. I mean, he heals to 17, which is nice. All right, they're both going to hate it. Solidarity may yet arrest this collapse. There's another melt, like... Fifty-four HP, and we're just—we are just—we just can't. We can't have dealt any. We dealt hardly any damage to him. We can't. Like I just have to accept the Audrey meltdown. I can't do anything about that. I've got to—I've got to try to punch through this guy. Release Audrey for Pete's sake! Come on. Thank you. Like, good lord, it, it, it's done that to me a couple of times now, where it's just like, no, you're not, you're not getting the uh, thing you need. I think I have to, I have to risk some death blow checks here. I need, I need more time. Okay. Six damage, but does heal him to 25, which is nice. save El Hazred here. So this can get us most of the way there. I think we... Oh god, that wasn't even close. Uh, it is coming down to the absolute wire here. All right, Reynold getting grabbed isn't great, but it's livable. And of course, it wouldn't. Why would it release Audrey? Why would it ever release Audrey? Like Audrey, I, Audrey's been grabbed for like multiple turns through me. Weak hold on life, you have naturally. Jeez. 
Health and wealth has neither health nor wealth right now. Alright, there's the first armor break. Finally, Audrey gets released, which is nice of it. Alright, it's a 50-50 here. Ooh, blank desktop, you are a tank. Alright. Alright. We win. Whew. What the hell? Alright. Patch him up. Patch yourself up. He's dead. He's dead to the blight. So. Jeez. I mean, the loot is worth it, but holy crap. That was, that went just about as bad as it could go. And I think that really, that does feel like it highlights the, uh, the damage problem we had. Jeez. Like, we just do not do... It feels like enough damage. Just make him real tanky. Foreclosure notice will carry for now. Um, all right. Well, we're going to have to avoid some fights here, and there is just a million things of loathing on this road. They need your help. Knowing my luck, death is just going to show up now. That isn't a challenge game. I don't need death to show up. Holy shnikes. We've just been getting our heads kicked in. All right. Uh, a lot of extra food. This doesn't help anybody. Zero affinity, zero affinity. Good lord. All right, let's... At least we got some good food. All right, we can work with that. <laughs> All right. So here's the problem. This could be death. And if it is, we probably just lose. Formless sculpture isn't that exciting. Assistance encounter isn't that exciting. If we do this, we have a chance at that. I don't, yeah, I don't think I can take it. Yeah, everyone, or blank desktop's going to melt down if I don't go to the assistance. I think that's fine. He's going to melt down in the fight, but our, our team completely hates each other. So it doesn't, it kind of doesn't matter. Man, we just... Like, I, that's the thing about the Dreaming General. Sometimes he, he's kind of a pushover. He just goes down. I mean, it doesn't, it almost doesn't matter. Very unfriendly, very unfriendly. Like, it's, you know, we just gotta, we just gotta work through this. We can't go lower than zero. We are gonna need, we are gonna need to find some major relationship items. I think we'll save the stems because we're blasting into armor anyway. <coughs> Actually set up Bulwark of Faith, see if we can't get some uh, reverberating readout triggers. It's interesting that I'm fairly sure the Arbalist doesn't shoot the front rank very often, but then, like, he randomly will. And it's, like, I don't know that I understand what's going on here. All right, I think, I think it does need to be... Wow. Critical heal for one. Thank you, game. Well, 
You do get to sepsis that guy and heal for 25, so could be worse. But man, we just got... Oh, nice, we got a reverberating readout trigger, so we actually get to heal stress. Stress heal for three. Blow off a bunch of armor, get some burns ticking. The enemy weakens and wanes. Yeah, we, we did not have the damage output for the Dreaming General, apparently. Which also kind of worries me for resentment. Because we need to be able to do do that damage. Well, we're already we're already doing this, so we may as well just take it all, right? There we go. That'll that'll keep him safe. That bleed is massive, though. The fiend's strength dwindles. Off by one. At least the weaken, the weaken helps. Reduces this incoming damage a little bit. One less obstacle in our path. Please into dying. Holy shnikes. There we go. So we're healing. We're healing for a trillion here. I guess we may as well patch somebody up because he's going. He goes to death's door, then he immediately heals for eighteen. So it's not a big deal. And gets hit for seven, but I think we can live with that. Measured and steady. Yeah, I need to I need to revisit the skills. I don't think I'm making use of the the Templar piece enough. I mean, granted, we don't have tenacity. Um, so rallying cry. Yeah, I just don't know that this is actually going to get used. A brilliant conclusion. Get as much healing done as we can here. Hmm, that was nice. Yeah, so here's here's the problem. Like, here's the one problem, I think, with Templar. Because I think Templar is pretty cool. I especially like the smite and the stress healing. But with tenacity... Or it's not... Which one is it? It's not tenacity, it's rally and cry. Um, copy... So it's transfer versus copy, but in both cases the target has to be below 33%. And that's the that's the part that's a little bit frustrating. It feels like it should just go, because you're already setting the requirement of have a lot of um, have a lot of uh, regen built up. I guess we may as well put some combat items in, make some room in the wagon. But actually, oh, that's right. Okay, so I don't think Rallying Cry is getting used. We could drop Zealous Accusation for it, give it a little bit of a try. Yeah, okay. Um, but what I actually wanted to do, this is probably fine. It's, um, we upgraded Pirouette, which is unfortunate. But I wonder if instead we go Shadow Fade, put this in. Her first turn is Shadow Fade. And then she gets to, like, do extra damage. And, um... Uh, but you see, like, this this is the non-bow right there. Is I, I want, sh I want, yeah. I want the stealth for the, p the upgraded pirouette. Yes, yeah, so that's not really, that's not really a solution, unfortunately. So we're going to go up to two loathing, then back down. So that's good. We're going to go pick up formless statue here, which I don't really care about but Whew. all right we're stabilizing now Ooh, combat items or a quirk uh, we'll just do combat items off guard 
Ooh, otherworldly fragments that were quite good. The loathing festers. Audrey's just got weak grip the yips off guard. That is like that is a combination that has occurred. All right, it, we we are at the risk of running into death here, or up here at this barricade, but or and there, jeez. But at least at least now our we're we're sort of stable again. Uh, we get a wheel back. Kind of feels like getting a wheel back is worthwhile. Keep the flame high. I really would have liked to go to one of these unknowns and find a field hospital. That's the thing that I was hoping to find and didn't. Okay, good. This can't be death. Because it's uh, this this thing. Alright. Um, we'll save clotting powders. We will, however, do that. Big damage to the back row. Do have to, we do have to beat this barricade down. But we can also get these guys ticking. So we need two more damage there. All right, now he's now he's just gone. Ooh, we could sepsis him potentially though. Six damage. This can do it. Yeah. Okay. We have to beat this barricade down, so we may as well do it here. There we go. Barricade is down. He's gone. Let's more more. Collect some extra... Collect some extra uh, pain healing here. Spiring ourself for a three-point stress heal. This is gonna be a big heal for uh big heal for our flaggy boy. this guy down and oh, well, off by one. Oh nope Reynold gets it there we go oosh there there we go those are the shimmering powders we needed so for certain fights we can bring those shimmering powders in but I actually kind of I don't know how much I want to try to make that work right now when the yips are just gonna like bring it in. Yeah, you know, we're just gonna get we're just, we're just gonna get yipsed. All right. All right. So they both want to leave. Gosh, I really want to make this. I really want to run, but I kind of need. We're gonna have so many negative relationships. That's insane. 
And the load... Yeah, I think we... I think we need to knock the loading down. Next zone is gonna be so hairy. I really hope it's a sluice. I just need... I just need a bit of a break. Alright, you know what? Let's... Let's stems this up. Let's get some... Let's get some extra damage in. Ooh. That was a lot of stress. That seemed a little unnecessary. These guys just hit so dang hard. The enemy weakens and wanes. Double kill. Get rid of the two really high damaging threats. <coughs> Oof. Unnecessary. Just gonna try to take an opportunity to patch up Alhazred here since both these guys are, you know, gonna go down next turn. Yeah, heal him for 12 after taking 6 seems pretty worthwhile. That's him gone. I think we stall one more turn, get that stress heal in. Take eight points for it, that's probably worthwhile. Just end it. Man, we have... We got really chewed up early on, but we're starting to stabilize, I think. The loathing whisper. We just, we really need the sluice to show up, because the sluice will give us a chance to rebuild some relationships where we don't have, um, where we don't have a, uh, a ton of, like, high-risk encounters to do. Alright, off guard, just, jeez. Our grave robber is, like, broken until we get to a, until we get to a dang, um, jeez. Dazed into stunned. Well, all right. A simple kindness. Well, this looks like a this looks like an opportunity for more more to come in. Just have blank desktop protect Audrey for a moment here. Now Audrey does get to do something kind of cool here. We're just we're gonna spend the stems to do it. There we go, thirty-two, <laughs> and just casually obliterate both of them. Bleed? Ah, actually kind of wanted that bleed to come in here. Single point. She's getting into absinthe range here. Now the bleed comes in. Sepsis doesn't reach, unfortunately. But we can get rid of you. And you're gone too, so there you go. Brave 
greater threat await those who dare. You say that like that's that's my fault. All right, well, we don't need slime mold, that's for sure. All right, let's let's prep for a second here. Um, smoke bombs can come in. Medicinal herbs can come in. First fight should be an altar altar fight. Man, we have we have so much relationship work to do. Just to get back to stable, just to get back to zero is like a nightmare. Bleeding with sightless miasma, classic. We'll go ahead and put clotting powders on. Altar of Resentment, which is just extra crit tokens for all those involved. We'll go ahead, we'll actually go ahead and more and more here and try to protect the Grave Robber just a tad. I have an idea which we're going to explore after this. We're going to try it out. I don't know that it's a good idea, but it is an idea. Because we do have... We have the Dreaming Generals um, thing. And specifically, we have the one that locks you in place. So we could be doing... So we could be doing Shadow Fade for free. And then... Um, ooh. We could be doing Shadow Fade for free and, and like pirouettes for free while she's locked in the front and then when she comes off of it, uh, we get she gets to uh, you know move around again. Three to seven, seven to twelve, so this can just kill. Okay, well. It could have. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Actually, kind of missing zealous accusation right now. Another impediment cleared with impunity. Yeah, we really need to improve our damage output. But yeah, so if I if I lock in the Dreaming General's trophy for five rounds, she's going to be able to just spam spam without moving. So we can get her into stealth consistently every turn. Now it's a little bit. It's a little bit suspect with um, off guard and all that stuff going on. An unavoidable end. Excellent work. Man, zealous accusation or reap would have been really good here. Now let's just let's just go ahead and kill one of these guys. Probably should have killed the one with the crit token, but yeah, whatever. Okay, well. Jealous Whisper has some potential. The loathing. That actually has some potential to it. We don't need all that. All right, well, let's let's head into the inn. Let's catch our breath here. We do have three mastery points and 136 relics, so we and 89 baubles, so we do have quite a bit of money saved up. We can convert this. We just got absolutely chewed up that rage. And... All righty. The fire is lit. The table Vigilant. Is set. Yeah, just the juice. Awaits its favorite guest. All right. Oh, the sluice is here. 
Yeah, we're going straight to the sluice. Unexplored. The sluice is just, it's the safest place we could be going. Um, it's the safest place we could be going with relative, uh, you know, with a relatively good chance that we don't, we don't get destroyed. Whew. So it does lock. Does this have a cooldown? No. So he just becomes Holy Lance Bot. Ugh. I don't think I can put this in, is the problem. I don't think I can have... As much as I want Audrey to be able to spam pirouette and apply all those debuffs to people, Reynold being in the third rank, he's just like, if he was a banneret, this would be okay, but I didn't realize that's what we were going to be doing. Like, you know, there's no way for me to know that was going to be the play. All right. So we need to spend some serious money here. Wagon Jack, Leaf Spring Suspension, I think is going to be big. And Plating, these are both road gear. All right, yeah, let's buy both Anything of them. Us uh, steel plating goes in. Looting trinkets, quantity of food. The plating is past. No, I didn't need to do the that. I didn't need to go all the way up. Um, We'll pull out ice box for the moment because we've got we've got some food banked up, so I don't know that we need do that. I want to try this jealous jealous whisper here. See how that goes. All right, so it's most of our bobbles spent. Poetry, we need. Uh, yeah, we need to we need to just spend some money here. Two poetries for sure. Touching dirges. I want to bring both of those. A let's of let's just. On the road to damnation. Wow. Oh, okay. Eighty percent chance. Eighty percent chance. Every single one was a negative relationship. <laughs> this game is bullshit. Good lord. This game is just out to get me right now. Right. Um, definitely want that wild tea. Weak grip is something. All right, let's look at this. I mean, it's 65% chance to form a negative relation. 90%. Like, this is just unbelievably bad. Hazrid and Blank Desktop. Getting it to 1 is a big deal. Because that moves it from 90% to 65. Which is insane that that's what I'm doing. But, like, it's I'm just trying to reduce it. All right. I think, I think I need to save the other 44. There's so much more I need to remove. But I think that's going to have to be good enough. We definitely need the Leaf Spring just to... <clears throat> just to try to reduce some of this. Man, we are... No, we are getting real chewed up, but we are going to we are going to endeavor to survive. I don't think we can use the General's Dream right now. I do want to bring up some of, we we ne we need we desperately need to improve our damage output right now. All right, let's get some let's get some damage output going. Bissell Bissell artillery is a really good upgrade for us. Um, Binding shadows is a pretty strong upgrade, and then maybe smite. We're using smite quite a lot. 
for something like Punish or Acid Rain. Actually, we'll do Throne Dagger. Let's get this thing upgraded. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that uh, absolutely punishing beatdown that I got. Uh, tune in next time to see if we can uh, see if we can keep it alive. Till then, see ya.